I played this game, uh, the, the original game, uh, years ago and loved it. They, the company that put it out, Yacht Club Games, has done like DLCs and expansions to it, and they, they could put them all in a compilation. It's Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. And the game I played off of this, I didn't play the whole thing, was the Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. That's it, Spectre of Torment. You play the Spectre Knight, and they list on the back like all the things included. So the middle one's the one I played. Um, but this is a like a free DLC. If you own the original Shovel Knight, like on the PS4 or whatever, just the base game, I think you have access to this and can download it for free, which is amazing. I'm so happy it's included on the cart with the treasure trove. So this is like the prequel to Shovel Knight and it tells how all the bosses from the first game like kind of came to know each other um, and how Donovan, who is the Spectre Knight, uh, came to be. If you've never played Shovel Knight before, it's like an 8-bit style side-scrolling action game. And I have to say, the gameplay in this is like pretty much perfect. It's exactly what you would want. It, it's based off like Mega Man. And the stages are like, you know, fast and full of cool things that happen and interesting ideas. And Spectre Knight controls great. He has a wall climb ability uh, and an air dash attack that makes like traversing the levels like like a joy like it's really fun you unlock sub weapons from defeating uh or you you, you unlock sub weapons from like beating the levels and they, they help you like succeed like i said like mega man it's that same sort of deal and the game looks unbelievable it, it's got this like like i said beautiful 8-bit styling but the music is fantastic it's like a like a baroque style chiptune theme and it's at times like breathtaking i absolutely loved it and overall the game's art style and general aesthetic are just unbelievable and, and some of the best i've ever seen in like any retro modern uh kind of game in this genre i i, I don't really this is this is one of the granddaddies of all of them right of this like retro 8-bit throwback revolution we've had recently and it, that's for a reason one of the things I love about like the Shovel Knight games is the checkpoint system. I love that it's like challenging and difficult, but the, the abundant checkpoint points throughout the levels, there's like five, six or so, uh, they keep the game from getting too frustrating or stressful. Like if you die and you have to do the same section over and over again, you don't have to start the game from the beginning like we did when we were kids or from the beginning of the stage. You just lose like 30 seconds of progress and most of the areas you're gonna get through on your first try anyway. On the downside of this one in particular, the Spectre of Torment, I feel like Spectre Knight's kind of OP. He's like a little overpowered, and all of the bosses felt really easy. Uh, I like I think I only had to replay maybe two bosses in the whole game, and all the others I just like beat on my first try, and I felt like I was just spamming dash attacks on them. Like he locks on to enemies and just dashes towards them and you can chain that together. And some of the, the enemies have like a pattern where they'll block that or they become invulnerable for a minute. But when you do that, you just kind of like hop around or wall climb or whatever to get away from the the, the projectiles that they're shooting at you. So uh, I, uh, I felt like that brought the game down a little bit. I would have liked a little bit more challenge to the bosses and maybe boss patterns that were more suited to Spectre Knight's abilities, right? Like it felt like I said he was OP and the game wasn't really designed about that, around that. It, it feels like he was kind of shoved into the original Shovel Knight. But in general, the whole Shovel Knight presentation is one of the best like I've ever seen for a retro style game. And this like DLC package, that's what I'm gonna call it, is, is no different. It, it adds to the already amazing Shovel Knight universe and you know it has top-notch gameplay and graphics and music and even like a touching story like I thought the story was really good in this it's certainly one of the better 8-bit stories you're ever gonna see um, so like I said it's challenging but it's fair with its checkpoints and it doesn't overstay its welcome and it doesn't really do anything new but it, it doesn't need to as well I beat Spectre of Torment on here I did it in like two sittings I thought it was really good and I enjoyed it a lot I look forward to playing the other games on this compilation but Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment is great. It's like an 8 out of 10. I would highly recommend it, but I would play Shovel Knight proper first, <laughs> the original game first, so you have a better appreciation of it.